Hi, this is Dr. Jim back again in segment two uh, on labor and delivery and fetal monitoring and why is it necessary sometimes to continuously monitor moms? What are the risk factors and so forth? Today specifically, we're talking about contractions. And when we talk about contractions, remember again, it's all about a healthy, happy baby. And so our goal is, is to, uh, to provide a safe uh, path for you to deliver uh, your healthy baby and a happy one. So first of all, when it comes to contractions, uh, it's about duration of the contraction, how long it lasts. This is all about a contraction long enough to affect the baby to go down the birth canal. We like about a 45 to 60 second contraction, but no more than that because more than that is stressful for the baby. So 45 to 60 seconds. And then there's frequency. Uh, it can be too frequent or they can be not frequent enough. Goal is to have contractions every two to three minutes, but not more than five contractions in 10 minutes. If you're contracting five to six minutes, generally that is not sufficient again to move the baby down the birth canal. So then after uh, that, it's about intensity. The contractions need to be strong enough to push the baby down the birth canal. And so we have ways of judging for that, but it's important that they be strong enough. And sometimes that's pretty unpleasant because uh, getting, that, getting that baby out the birth canal is in, in delivered is what we're after. And so uh, they have to be intense, but they can't be too intense because that's stressful for the baby. So we watch that very carefully. And if necessary, either way, not strong enough or too strong, sometimes it's necessary to put in what we call an IUPC. That's the only absolutely accurate way to determine the strength of the contraction. So sometimes we have to do that and you know, explain that to you and go through that ritual when the labor is not progressing as we would like it to be. So I'm showing you also today a, uh, a fetal monitoring strip and I'm with particular attention to the bottom of it. And in this strip, you can see that the uterus, the peaks of that, those uterine contractions are greater than every two minutes. And, and this also reflects up in the upper part of the strip, which is the baby's heart, showing that uh, the baby's heart doesn't like this frequent intense contractions because they're also quite intense. Not only are they close together, but look at how rapidly that baby's heart is, is beating in response to the stress of frequent, too frequent, and intense contractions. So this is a reason that we monitor to be able to determine what effect the uterine contractions have on a healthy, happy baby. And that's our goal, right? And my goal for you is to be healthy and be happy. Stay tuned for our next segment, which will be about fetal heart rate. And don't forget to subscribe to Be Healthy, Be Happy University. This is Dr. Jim.